So this is a quick video about what it's like to try and charge an EV with a trailer in a shopping centre. So when you tow your caravan around Australia, sooner or later you're going to need to stop in at a shopping centre for groceries or whatever else. And it's a bit different with an EV because with a nice vehicle you'd normally park it a long, long way away from everyone else. All right, so this is going to be fun, taking a small caravan into a shopping centre or shopping centre car park in order to charge it. Not really what you want to do, but on the other hand, I do want to charge this car. So, you know, um, yeah, look at all these people going, what is this posy guy doing with a... Oh, yeah, it's busy as well. The problem is they put the EV chargers very close to prime parking spots so people are going to want to use them. Now EVs don't have that great a range compared to ICE vehicles and obviously they take longer to charge than it does to put uh, petrol or diesel in a tank and that's especially true of towing and that, that's what the purpose of this test is. You can see the results of that in another video. Anyway, if I'm doing this sort of trip, anytime I'm not actually driving the EV, I want that EV to be charging even if it's 5 10% of range every little bit helps so if I'm going to go into a shopping mall for 20 minutes half an hour an hour I want my EV to be charging whilst I'm not using it now with the EV charger locations in shopping malls they tend to be close to the entrance which is great um, that's convenient but the problem is that's where a lot of other people tend to be so um, you can't really take a trailer in there. So that means you've got to go and dump the trailer and then unhitch, come back and then charge your EV. I also feel that with the charging speed, the charge, charges provided are often free to entice people in the same reason you get free car parking. But they're not generally DC fast chargers because you don't want people to sort of have a really quick charge you want them to hang around a bit buy stuff you know tea coffee lunch whatever else on the other hand you've got to make it fast enough that there's actually an incentive to use it so i kind of feel they're kind of middle of the road ac charges um, to sort of get that balance from it providing an incentive for people to actually use them versus not so quick that they're in and out and there's no extra money spent um, on ancillary services so this is a Type 2 charger, which means I'm going to need my own Type 2 cable, which I have bought. Uh, this is not something coming standard with, well, not with the Ionic anyway. It might come with other EVs, but certainly doesn't come with the Ionic. You typically have to buy them. So that goes, should go in there. There we go. And the other end obviously goes in here and we'll again open that up. There we go. All right, now I need to get the, the thing actually charging. So um, I don't really like EV link ones. They're not the best, but maybe that would work. Oh, is it charging? Oh, that was easy. It was just press the button and go. I had to figure around a lot more last time. Okay, so that's charging. So let's take a look and see what the car reckons it will be. So that will just go in a sec. Yeah. All right, so 50, 45 minutes to 100%, 10.7 kilowatts. At home, I probably get about 2.1 off a of 10 amp, so this is significantly quicker. So whilst one of um, the crew gets some coffees, um, we're going to pump a little bit of electricity into the car. Okay, so the vehicle's charging away, which is nice because then we can go into the shopping centre and do things. Um, but I'm obviously towing the trailer, and as you can see, the trailer's up there, and I just had to park it out of the way um, because for some surprising reason, shopping centres don't actually cater for people with electric vehicles and trailers who would have thought um, I think this is a major failing anyway what is also a failing is the fact that this is an electric vehicle a charging point and this bay as you can see here is marked is marked for electric vehicles um, as is this one over here um, but this bay 
is an EV bay, but it's got an ICE vehicle in it. So unfortunately, anyone else who turned up cannot charge their car because this vehicle is taking up the bay. So either the, the driver didn't notice, and this is, um, or they're just being inconsiderate, and that's what we term icing when you have um, basically a internal combustion engine vehicle using an EV bay preventing EVs from charging. So we came in, we found a charger, we unhitched, we charged, we hitched up again and now we are happily on our way. It wasn't too much trouble but it's significantly more trouble than would have been with an ICE vehicle. We didn't need to hitch and unhitch or worry about whether the charger was in use or, or not and obviously um, you know I didn't get anywhere near 100% charge but if I'd have taken that same amount of time to refuel an ICE vehicle then I'd have definitely been able to fill the tank um, several, several times over. So again um, towing of an EV absolutely possible but still not quite as cheap, easy and convenient as with an ICE vehicle at this point in time. So I hope you found this video useful, any questions please drop them in the comments and thank you for watching.